So coronary artery disease may not manifest any symptoms. Some patients have no chest pain at all, but on exercise tests or some form of stress testing, uh, there, there is evidence of lack of oxygen supply to the heart. Another group of patients present with what is called a stable angina, where on exertion, for example, when the person walks very fast, or, or when he runs, when he climbs stairs, he experiences chest pain, chest discomfort, tightness, or breathing difficulty. We call this a stable angina. The pain or the discomfort is most commonly felt over the chest, can be at the center of the chest, left side of the chest. It can go up to the neck, to the jaw, to the shoulder, to the inner aspect of arm. More commonly, left arm than the right arm. And with rest, the symptoms relieve or disappear. And with activity, it might come back. Right. So this this is a re recurrent episode of chest discomfort. Yeah, um, always give the rise to a warning of a possible underlying coronary artery disease. Another group of patients manifests as a sudden, severe chest pain resulting in what we call a heart attack. So they may not go through a phase of the stable angina before ending up with a heart attack. Some patients, uh, the first manifestation is a heart attack where the pain is a lot more severe, may be associated with breathing difficulties, sweating, uh, with a severe and persistent chest pain. Under that situation, the, this particular person should quickly get to the nearest uh, A&E department to seek medical help.